Hey everybody, we're back in the fish room with another video. We gotta move some more fish to a new tank. Let's set it up step by step. Let's go. So I'm gonna start by removing this driftwood because we don't need it in here anymore. One piece, number two. Air algae grew on this, a lot of it. You can see it all in there. That's crazy. This is what happens when you remove fish from a tank and then you get busy and are not able to hit it up right away. Um, what we're doing here is going through the sand as you can see. We are getting that loose algae out. Uh, I believe it's hair algae. I mean, it just was growing on that driftwood like crazy. Uh, definitely needed to have a net along with, uh, you know, the uh, python. What I was doing at some points was actually pulling the sand up into the net where there was a lot of hair algae and then just shaking it so it was like sifting the sand out but keeping all the big particles in. This was definitely a big project. Uh, I will tell you guys that. Not uh, hitting it up for a while with no fish in there. I definitely made more work for myself. So what we're doing here is we're getting room made for rocks to get moved on to certain spots. You can see that's why I'm moving some of the sand away. Scooping it now. So you can see all that hair algae that was growing inside the tank. Crazy. That was a lot of hair algae, wasn't it? So I'm doing the same thing I was doing again, kind of just taking some of that sand out and we are now moving a rock over so that it's sitting on the glass. This is thick, thick glass. Uh, I should have put egg crate, but I just didn't because I done it like this for a long time but yep so you can see I'm still trying to scoop a bunch of that hair algae out you know it just kind of keeps coming out of the sand because uh, some of it gets buried and whatnot so I like to pull the sand up into the wand and then you go and let it fall out and what happens is some of the small particles that are not getting hit by the sand they will uh, get sucked up into the hose and then the sand obviously being heavy will fall out So it's a kind of a way of pulling extra junk out of the tank it's something I like to do and it's worked well for me How do you guys uh, clean your sand with your guys's pythons or if you don't have a python and you just have a normal hose what, you know how do you guys clean the sand do you do it like this do you do it differently let me know in the comment section down below guys see here we go pulling the sand up like I mentioned and then just kind of going and sifting it like that just to go and pull all of that algae out and also some pieces of driftwood. There were some random small pieces of driftwood bark, I guess you can say, uh, that fell off the main pieces. And those had to get pulled out as well. The reason why I was doing this was because the uh, python was doing a good job, but it just wasn't really getting a lot of the big pieces of hair algae because some small pieces of sand got stuck on it and it kind of weighed them down. So it just was kind of being a little bit of a pain to try and do it with the python. So I figured that the net would work well. Placing another rock, moving more sand out with my hand. And this was actually a really good idea because it stirred up obviously the substrate which stirred up more algae and junk that I needed to pick up with the net. So what we're using here is a net with finer mesh so it catches a lot more of the smaller stuff. That first net was catching all of the big particles and the small ones were making its way through the net. Again, hence the reason why I was able to sift it because the sand was able to fall through the net. Now on this one, it's not able to fall through because it's much finer. 
What I'm using here is my glass cleaner to move the sand around. I do not recommend that you do this because sand will get trapped on the cleaner and you can possibly scratch your glass. For me, this aquarium is so scratched as it is that it did not bother me. Uh, so again, do that at your own discretion because you don't wanna be scratching up your glass if it's not already scratched. So we're doing the last final bits here, adding more sand, pushing it around just so it has a nice sand bed. And uh, as you've seen, using the net to catch any small particles that get kicked up while we're doing this. Definitely gonna be your best friend if you guys ever have to do a clean like this on a tank, a net, actually two nets, one to catch your bigger stuff and one to catch your small stuff. Now it's on to getting that glass nice and clean. These scrubbers are really great. They work awesome. I've really enjoyed them. And you can see they do a good job. All right, we're getting to the end, guys. Getting to the end of getting this tank set up. Got the water filling up here with my old system. For those of you who have been following me, know I have an old water change system that I still take advantage of to this day. If you haven't seen this yet and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button guys and the notification bell. Uh, you could check out some of my playlists of how I built my fish room. Uh, and this is part of the old system, which I'm really glad that I did because along with my auto water change system, if I ever need to do a big water change like this one, I can fill it up nice and fast and drain it fast with my spa pump. Time to add our trusty safe. Get that going in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous beast. Woo! Look at that. The size of my hand and look at the fish, guys. Look at that. Huge! Now that all the fish are in the tank, finishing touches, I got a net and sprayed or splashed <laughs> some water onto the tank so that I can use a paper towel and just wipe up all the water marks and pen marks that I had on there. So yeah, finishing touches. All right, here we go. Got the uh, comps moved on over to the 120, 125, something like that. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping that the extra rock and the sand is gonna help the fish. Uh, some of these females have some beat up marks. I mean, that happens when you breed fish, but uh, yeah, look at that big boy doing awesome. It's such a beautiful fish. Man, oh man. Looking great. All right, guys, let's see how they do post being moved. You know, a lot of times they have stress, but uh, we'll see here. Add a few pellets in here and see what happens. Got a few going at them. I think the other ones are still a little stressed. See the male's coming over here now. Let's see if he'll go after some. No, he turned around. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're doing just fine. The male will eventually come in and get some food. He's just setting up his territory. Yeah, so there we go, guys. We got the Dimidiochromis compressed seps for the Triple S breeding program moved to a new tank. 
So that we got the breeding rack right over here and they got some sand to mess with now and some rock. So, uh, I mean, they had a rock before, but now the sand just to kind of make it a little bit more natural. Um, so I'm hoping that they're going to do really well in here. You can see the male right there is doing awesome. He's flexing hard. So anyway, there we go. If you guys could like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that would be awesome. Stay tanked.